Many artificial objects are inspired by something organic or found in nature. Velcro, sometimes called zipperless zippers, is one such item, modeled after the plant's common seed box. Velcro is made up of two surfaces, one surface is made up of tiny hooks and the other is made up of tiny loops. When the two sides of the surface are pressed together, hundreds of hooks will attach to the tiny loops, resulting in a strong bond. The bond can be removed easily by pulling the surface up, making a familiar hoarse sound. Today, Velcro is used in hundreds of products, from coats to children's shoes, blood pressure cuffs to aircraft flotation devices. The idea of making Velcro came unexpectedly. In 1948, George de Mestrel, a Swiss engineer, went hiking in the woods accompanied by his dog. Both he and the dog came home with the grinder stuck to them as they walked. Suddenly, an idea popped into his mind, is it possible that grinders attached to clothes can be used commercially as binders? De Mestrel then studied the spines under a microscope. He found that it was covered with tiny hooks, which allowed the many thorns to reach the clothes and fur that touched the plants as he and his dog passed. Armed with this idea, De Mestrel spent the next eight years developing a product he called Velcro, a combination of the words velvet and crochet. He obtained a patent on his hook and loop technology in 1955 and named his company Velcro. At first, few people took De Mestrel's discovery seriously, but it worked, especially after NASA used Velcro for a number of flights and space experiments. In the 1960s, Apollo astronauts used Velcro to fasten all kinds of devices in their space capsules for easy retrieval. Starting in 1968, shoe companies such as Puma, Adidas, and Reebok integrated Velcro straps into children's shoes. A 1984 interview between television talk show host David Letterman and Velcro's U.S. Director of Industrial Sales ended with Letterman, wearing a suit made of Velcro, launching himself off a trampoline and onto a wall covered in Velcro, sticking to it. This widely publicized stunt furthered the craze, resulting in more companies adapting Velcro into their products.